Hello Rockets! Today I wanted to create this video uh, just to let you know, uh, give you further instructions on how you can create your transcripts. So I do have detailed instructions, a step-by-step -step guide here in our College Readiness Remind page and so you can find those step-by-step -step instructions here. But then I also want to remind you why you need to order your transcripts. And so basically that is part of the college application process when you are a senior. Um, we do have this flyer out and so, you know, it's part two. So the very first thing you do when you become a senior is you start applying for admission at, at several colleges. Uh, and so that is step one. The very first thing is you apply for admission. Uh, we normally help you in completing your applications through Apply Texas. We host an event with help from UTEP and EPCC. And um, where they come in on campus or they join us to a, through a Zoom room and they guide you guys through their application process. But then that always needs to be followed with your transcript request okay so we have that link there you guys can order your transcripts online uh, many times your counselors receive emails uh, or you reach out to your counselors asking you know can you please send my transcript over to nmsu because i'm applying for admission there or to ut austin your counselors cannot send your transcripts to your colleges uh, because it is something that it is a process that you need to initiate. Um, you need to sign on it. And if you are under 18, then your parent also needs to sign on it. So that this is why, you know, sometimes you will get that response from your counselors or from myself letting you know, this is the website. These are the instructions on how to order your transcripts. And so that's where we're going to go into right now. So just so that you know how to get this done, you can open up any web browser and you can just go ahead and type BPISD scrib order. And let me see. It looks like my internet is a little bit slow. But once you type that and you just do a, a, a basic internet search on your web browser, you should come up with a hit for El Paso ISD records request. And so we can go ahead and click there and it'll take us to the correct web page. Now, if you go through Schoology or if you go through the college application process link, that hyperlink will take you directly to this page. But if you don't have access to that and you need your transcript request, just do a basic internet search and you'll find it. Now, while you are still a current student, then you would request it here and that will be free of charge. After you graduate, then that is when you become a former student. And then now anytime you need to request a transcript, there will be a fee. Um, as well, if you ever misplace your diploma and you need a copy of the diploma, then you can go ahead and order one here. Now, I do want to point something out. Um, again, if you, if the student is less than 18 years of age, then we do need um, your legal guardian signature or your parent signature. Also, uh, you need to allow three to five business days for this record to be processed. So sometimes uh, you need a transcript right away because the college admission, college application deadline is tomorrow. Um, just know that it is your responsibility to allow ample of time to for your transcript to be to be processed. So please make sure that you're requesting these with plenty of time. Uh, your our high school registrar does try to process them immediately, but it does take some time. So please allow ample of time, you know, do it way before the deadline. So here we're gonna click on for current student. And so at any time you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and you want to order a copy of your transcript either for a college or for a scholarship or even just for you because you want to know what your GPA is, you want to know your class rank, or you know you want to see what all your credits look like or what a prospective college would look at um then you may order your transcript request so what you're going to do is you're going to type your last name and so i'm gonna go ahead and, and type mine uh, your first name, the last four numbers of your social security number. So notice how we're completing everything that's marked with a red star. If you do not have a social security number, then you can go ahead and enter 
four zeros. Okay, zero, 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 if you do not have a social security number. But if you do have one, then make sure you're entering the last four numbers of your social security number. Uh, and then it does help, even though it's not marked in red, for you to enter your Irvin High School ID number so that it is easier to match um, your academic record. Uh, then you're going to enter your date of birth, and I am going to pretend that I am a 17-year-old. So therefore, I was born in 2004. So my current age would be 17. Then the next required item is for me to select. Oh, and it's saying it doesn't match. I guess by now I should have turned. Oh, I guess I would still be 16. I think. Let's see. Yes. And then the next item will be for you to select your high school. So here for us, Irvin High School. And then your grade level. So for purposes of this video, we're going to say that you guys are seniors. But remember, you can request your record your academic transcript at any grade level. Then you're going to enter your home address, okay? Uh, most of you have the same home physical address as your mailing address. Very few of you would need to enter a different one if you have maybe like a PO box where you receive your mail. But most of you, your home address is your mailing address as well. Just going to go ahead and type all of that information. And then mailing address different. Most of us, again, we're going to check mark now. It is important that you try to enter your cell phone number here because uh, that way you can receive text messages letting you know the process of your request. Like if it's already been submitted or if there's any problems with your request, then you'll receive a text message. And then go ahead and enter your email address. You can enter either your school email address or your personal email address. And honestly, uh, we would always want you to start entering your personal email address, especially if you are completing anything having to do with college. Because remember, upon graduation, you will no longer have access to your EPISD school email. So you really want to start getting into the habit of using your personal email address. Special instructions, we really will not be using this box at, at any time right now. Uh, the only time we would use that is, for example, if you are requesting your transcript for a scholarship and they gave you clear instructions that your transcript should be emailed to a certain address. Then there you would type, you know, a simple message, please uh, send my transcript to the following email address, and you would list the email address. But generally, the majority of you, you're going to click here, add delivery address. And so when we do this, the most common reason why everybody orders their transcript is because you've applied for admission at a college and this educational institution, so we're selecting them, is requesting your transcript. So I am going to pretend that I have applied for UT Austin, so University of Texas at Austin, I select their name, and their address automatically populates. Now, I'm going to take advantage and I'm going to order multiple transcripts right now because I've applied to UT Austin, NMSU, and I don't know, EPCC and UTEP. So let me go ahead and add now a separate educational institution. And if I just type El Paso, El Paso Community College will come up. And I can go ahead and add additional addresses. Maybe I also want to receive my um, transcript. So then if you want to receive your transcript, then there you would go ahead and type your student name because you want a copy. You want to know what your GPA is. You want to know your class rank. And then you would enter your mailing address there. Um, there you would have to type it all, right? You would type all of your complete email, mailing address so that you can go ahead and receive it by mail. Uh, but let's pretend you are also sending it to a scholarship. So if you're for a scholarship, uh, maybe you are submitting a scholarship for the El Paso Community Foundation. And so you enter the name of the foundation, but then attention, who should it be sent to directly? And so then you're going to put the name of the person that is managing that scholarship. I can't type. 
and so forth, okay? Uh, you would enter their mailing address completely. So let me go ahead and make up one. I'll just go ahead and put in the urban high school address for sake of this. Once you have entered the name of the person and the address, and that's your last transcript you're requesting, you can click on save and close. And you will see how we have ordered a transcript be sent to two educational institutions and to a person or a community foundation for a scholarship. And then here you're going to select the reason for your uh, request. And most of you, if you're applying for college, then it would be for college. I've also included one for a scholarship for college, so you go ahead and select that. But notice that there's different reasons why a student may request a transcript. And then select the information type requested. It's going to be transcript for the majority of you. You do have the option of uploading a scholarship here, but this is only on very specific situations. So please only use this when your counselor has instructed you to use the scholarship request upload option. But for the majority of you, you will just select transcripts. And again, we are ordering three, but there should be no fee because you are still a current student. Now, remember that I mentioned if you are under 18, you will need your legal guardian's uh, initials and signature, and they will also need to provide their ID. If um, I was over 18, then I would go ahead and be able to type in my initials, my signature, and then go ahead and update my order and now it's going to request that I submit a copy of my ID. So again, just as a reminder, if you are under 18, you do need a parent signature and to submit a copy of your ID and a copy of your parents ID. If you are over 18, then you can sign for this on your own. Now you have the option of mailing, faxing, or bringing in a copy of your ID, but working online, and since you're requesting your uh, transcript online, I highly recommend that you upload a copy of your ID. And it can be your, your student ID, um, otherwise then it will need to be a formal government ID. But if you are a current student, then you can use your student ID. And for, you know, just um, for example, right now I'm uploading our logo, but you would again upload your, your ID. And then don't forget to click attach the blue button once it's been selected and then click attach. Successfully uploaded. So now I can go ahead and once again, submit my initials. If you are under 18, then it would be your legal guardian's initials and you would click on complete order. Now I should receive this verification. Okay, so make sure that you keep a copy of this, take a picture of it um, or save it. If you print for your records, you can go ahead and save it into your files. but there you have your tracking number. So please make sure that you are monitoring yours, uh, your email that you provided for your transcript request. Also make sure that you are monitoring your cell phone if you provided a cell phone and, and decided to receive text messages. Okay. And again, our high school register will try to process this for you as fast as, as possible, but it may take anywhere from three to five business days. So I hope this helps you all when you are requesting your transcripts. Uh, remember, you can order a transcript for yourself for your personal records, or you know you can order these transcripts so that they go to the colleges that you are applying for admission at. So remember, you always follow an application for admission with your transcript. Uh, and then you can also request transcripts for scholarship applications if it is required that you upload one. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.